Jesus' name we pray. Get yourself ready now. The first prayer I want you to pray is for thousands of us gathered here. Thousands of us gathered here. But there are some people these prayers will not help. Unless they are really ready, unless they are really ready to completely repent. Those are the people who still have fornication. Lost. Sexual perversion in their heart. Unless you are really ready to repent completely, the prayer may not be of help. This is why I ask you to confess your sins, boss. You will shout this loud and clear. Every effect of polygamy on my destiny. I beg you, concentrate. Many of us have suffered for too long. Many don't have direction. How can you be a champion? But inside you have been rendered useless. How can you supposed to be a multimillionaire but you cannot even afford to feed properly? Why should you be begging for money from those you should be giving money to? Decide that enough is enough. Every effect of polygamy on my destiny. In the name of Jesus. Pasekaya Boshencha. Something is happening already. Yes, 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 yes. Masopokoya Boshente Raboko Pola Bakasanta. In Jesus' name we pray. <laughs> Hey. 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 Amen. Amen. Oh, what a pity. You don't understand. understand. You are shaking your head. Come, Mary. Don't shake your head alone. Come, Mary. Lazo. Speak. Sorrow. Don't negotiate. I do not do that. Don't negotiate. I do not do that. Whatever you are, wherever you are. It was the cry of Jabez that delivered him. Nothing else. Is that cry you are crying now? Some people are already receiving. Peace. Concentrate. Say this loud and clear. I come against. Destiny killers. By the resurrection power of the Lord Jesus Christ. Can you say that loud and clear? Yes. Say it loud and clear. In the name of Jesus, yes, come against the destiny killers. Come against them by the resurrection power of the Lord Jesus Christ. Come against them. Mo pasakaya boshenta. 
Ribosa Ponda Kaya Boshe. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I want you to be more aggressive. As we pray this next prayer, if you are that sister who is here, and one day you had a dream, and you find yourself in that dream with both male and female sexual organs. As we are praying, just quietly find your way to this altar and be on your knees there. I didn't say the man, I said woman. So not no man be amongst them. All. You open your mouth like fire and like thunder. And you will pray this prayer with violence and with desperation. Say, God's original plan for my life. We are done. Manifest in the name of Jesus. Pa sakaton dayaba. Yes, God's original plan for my life. We are done. Manifest, 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 God's original plan for my life. We are there. Manifest. Manifest. Aha. Aha. Yes. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Look at what, look at what is happening. That's right. That's the power of God. That is 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 the power of God. Just be released. Be released. Let the surgical operation begin at that place. Let the surgical operation begin at that place. Let the surgeon of heaven. Begin to cut away anything that is not planted with it. Yes, 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 God's original plan for my life. We are the manifest, 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 manifest. In the name of Jesus. Maseka poya bo shanta rabo kora bo santo yaba. Riba kapanda sata yabo shanta. In Jesus' name we pray. Silence, beloved. I say, Heavenly Surgeon that has entered into this altar ground and is cutting off what was not planted in the life of those at the frontier that the enemy has added to your destiny it's cutting it off that's right you can feel the knife the knife 
of the heavenly surgeon. Cutting off that which is not supposed to be there. Lord, I commit this your children here unto your holy hands. Let the electric power of the anointing fall upon them now from the top of the head to the sole of the feet. And every stubborn plantation of the enemy that wants to confuse your destiny let the surgeon of heaven begin to cut off every plantation of darkness in the name of Jesus. Silence. It's still happening. Surgeon is still walking. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name. You may go back to your seat rejoicing now. Glory be to the name of the Lord. Get yourself ready, beloved. Get yourself ready. Because of the manner of what is happening here tonight. Every spiritual and Organizational weapon. Bobo we got a me at all we got a little fashion against my destiny. You want to say no desire, mommy? Can you say that loud and clear? Bobo we got a me at all we got a little. You want to say no desire, mommy? Can you say it louder than that? In the name of Jesus. Destroy the weapons. Yes. 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 Yes, yes. Mopa raka soponde kaya bo shanta. Ribo soponde kaya bo. In Jesus' name we pray. Glory to Jesus. This particular prayer. I do not talk to you. Pray it with holy desperation. Pray it with holy desperation. Pray it with holy desperation. There is something in the court of law they call injunction. When the enemy slams an injunction on your destiny, that is it. Is that injunction you want to destroy now? Every satanic injunction. That is opposing my destiny. Don't Can you shout this loud and clear? In the name of Jesus, destroy the injunction of Satan. In the name of Jesus, part of the capoya boshanda. Ribo soponde kaya bo shenta ya ba, ma soponde kaya bo shenta ya bo kola ba. Ribo soponde kaya bo shenta. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Let the power of God fall upon you. Just let that injunction be broken. Let it be broken. Let it be broken. 
Let it be broken. In the name of Jesus. Yes, 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 yes. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank you, Jesus. By something in human body. We in the sciences we call it genes. Genes. Your genetic component. Your daddy had genes together with that of your mommy. And then it becomes you. And so, in your life, you have something contributed by your father, something contributed by your mother. We call it genes. You will now pray loud and clear. Please, I beg you. Don't joke with this one. My jeans. My jeans. Receive deliverance from inherited problems. Can I hear the brothers shouting it loud and clear? Brothers, I beg you, please shout it louder than that. Sisters, shout it louder than the brothers. Aha! Everybody together now. In the name of Jesus, Pata Sekata, my Jesus received deliverance from inherited problems. In the name of Jesus, aha, aha. It's up, it's up, it's up, it's up. Masekaya boshente la bokoraba ribakapanda sete ya boshenta. In Jesus' name we pray. You see, you see what our prayers done now. Uh, someone here, you, you are SS by your genotype. The Lord has just converted you to AA. Your genes has received deliverance. You open your mouth like fire now. Please pray this with holy anger. Every power of my father's house. Acting as a policeman. Against my destiny. Can you say this loud and clear? Death! In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and declare it. Sikata Riboloko Sampende Yaboshenta Yes, 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 yes. 
Yes, yes, yes. In Jesus' name we pray. Oh, oh yes. Yes, let him go. Let him go. Let him go. Let him go. Remove your hand from his brain. Let him go. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Sisters, shout it louder than anyone around you. Every power tracking down my star in the spirit realm. Sisters, can you shout it louder than that? Brothers, shout it louder than the sisters. Everybody together now. Your time is up. There. In the name of Jesus. The power that is talking down my star. In the spirit realm. Your time is up. 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 Yes. Yes. Masaki ari katonde ya bosenda. Moseka ya boshente ya ba. Bosente kaya bo ba kasinta ya ba. Aha. Aha. Yes. Don't go shit. Yes, don't negotiate. Don't agree. Just Jesus' name we pray. This prayer is for 3,000 persons. Please pray it well. Pray it well. My favor reject frustration. Please pray to her. Can I hear you shouting it loud and clear? In the name of Jesus. I refuse to be frustrated. In the name of Jesus. Masekaya bo sheri bo saponte kayaba. Aha, 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 aha. Jesus' name we pray. Glory for Jesus. 
It is written about John the Baptist. He shall go forth in the spirit and power of Elijah. He shall go forth in the spirit and power of Elijah. Elijah. As we pray this prayer, if you are here, and is, this is not a prophet told me my uh, Holy Spirit showed me no 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 but your own parents told you that they ask of you from an idol or from water or from something like that not that you pray and receive revelation no, no, no. your own parents physically told you find a way to this altar be on your knees as you pray this prayer now by the spirit of Elijah Elijah Every altar, Every altar. raised against my destiny. Can you say this loud and clear? Shout it louder than anyone around you. Let me listen to those of you at the front here. Say it loud and clear. Everybody together now. Da! In the name of Jesus. Deal with the altar. Raise against your destiny. Continue, continue. Continue. Today is today. Decide in your spirit that the enemy will not have the last laugh. He will not have the last laugh. Yes. By the spirit and power of Elijah, every altar raised against your destiny. Be released from the idol. Be released from the waters. Be released. 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 Jesus, name we pray. Yes. Lord, I release this to your children unto your holy hands. Every dedication that speaks against you, every covenant that speaks against you, every power that has caged your destiny in the waters and in any shrine, right there where you are, receive your deliverance, 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 receive your deliverance. Receive your deliverance. Receive your deliverance. in the name of Jesus. Tonight, let the strong man that has been pursuing you be buried alive. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You may go back to your seat rejoicing now. Go back to your seat rejoicing now. Something that is happening here tonight. Something is happening here tonight. And you should not go home with any plastic experience. Say, my life. Open. Open. To divine deliverance. That prayer looks very simple. 
but it's a prayer that makes the hand of God to move. So if anything has been closing your life against deliverance, this is the time to get it open. My Lord, open to divine deliverance in the name of Jesus. Name we pray. Glory to Jesus. Yes. Many things have happened here tonight. Many things will happen in your dreams. Thank you, Jesus. Begin to thank the Lord for what He has done tonight. He's the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Of witchcraft powers on my destiny. Gloria, your mommy. Wither. Can you say that and let me hear you? Give it five to ten minutes before you go to bed tonight. Meanwhile, lay your right hand on your head and pray this loud and clear. I fire back! I fire back. Every arrow of devotion targeted against my brain in the name of Jesus. I fire back every hour of devotion fired against my brain in the name of Jesus. Jesus name we pray glory for Jesus and declare this loud and clear oh thou that troubled my Israel the God of Elijah shall trouble you today in the name of Jesus let's open our mouth and declare it Oh, thou that troubleth my Israel, the God of Elijah shall trouble you today. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Our Lord and our God, we thank you for this evening. We praise the only name for bringing us here. And we thank you for what you always do at these Wednesday meetings. Accept our thanks in Jesus' name. This evening, visit us by your power. Lay your hands upon our lives. All the people that were brought here this evening, let there be no one who will go home with a plastic experience. In the name of Jesus, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob shall arise for your sake tonight. In the name of Jesus. 
Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Let's have a seat. God bless you. Tonight is a night of warfare. And as many people as are gathered there this evening, and they definitely want their lives to be what God wants it to be, they should prepare themselves for touching heaven and for having heaven to touch them. Because tonight, we are going to look at praying to restore destinies. Praying to restore destinies. And it is good for you to be very attentive. Because this is an area where the enemy doesn't want anyone to pray at all. Praying to restore destinies. Let's look at some scriptures very quickly. The first scripture is in John chapter 18. The gospel according to St. John chapter 18. Look at what it says in verse 37. Because we need to put some scriptures together so that you can understand certain deep things then you'll be able to know how to pray in John chapter 18 verse 37 Pilate therefore said unto him that is to Jesus have thou a king then he said it in a mocking manner he was just making fun of him saying, <laughs> yes, my king. I have been pushed around like this king <laughs> Are you a king? That was the manner in which he asked the question. But he got a very serious answer. Jesus answered, Thou seest that I am a king. To this end was I born. That is, I am born to be a king. And for this cause came I into the world. So because I have to be a king, that's why I came. That I should bear witness unto the truth. Everyone that is of the truth heareth my voice. To this end was I and for this cause came I into the world. Can you say those two things, beloved? Can you say it again loud and clear? Can you now shout it louder than anybody around you? Could you honestly answer that question for yourself? Do you know the end to which you were born and the cause for which you came? Jesus was able to answer that fellow. Yes, you are correct. That's where I was born. That's what I came here to do. This is where we need a lot of prayers tonight. Go straight away to the book of Jeremiah. Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 5. 
Jeremiah 1 5. Jeremiah 1 4 to 5. Jeremiah chapter 1 4 to 5. Then the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Listen to this, beloved. Before I formed thee in the belly. And this before your daddy met your mommy. Let alone talking about conceiving you now. Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. And before thou camest forth after the womb, I sanctified thee. And I ordained thee a prophet unto the nations. All these were done before a baby boy came out and they said, This is Jeremiah. There is something, beloved, known as four ordination. There is something known as pre ordination. Before you got formed, a decision was taken by the Almighty God. Say, You are a daughter of destiny, He is a son of destiny, a child of destiny. That is, he has formed you for a purpose. Please keep that in your spirit. In the book of Matthew chapter 26, verse 24, Matthew 26, 24, Matthew 26:24. The son of man goeth as it is written of him. But woe unto that man by whom the son of man is betrayed. It had been good for that man if he had not been born. That is, there is a kind of life somebody can be living and by the calculation of heaven it will have been better if you were not born at all there is something that is called a written record about every man and woman sent into the world. The son of man goes as it is written of him. There was something written about Jesus and it was going according to that. According to that. According to that. Let's go to another scripture. In Ecclesiastes chapter 10, let's put all the scriptures together. Ecclesiastes chapter 10, verse 7. Ecclesiastes 10, 7. I have seen servants upon horses and princes walking as servants upon the earth. That is in heaven. They decided that this fellow should be a prince. But he has been replaced. His position has been taken up. Please note that one too. Turn right back to the book of 1 Samuel. 1 Samuel chapter 15. 1 Samuel chapter 15. We are saying this so you can know that destinies can be exchanged. Destiny can be transferred. Another person can take over the destiny of another person. Destiny can be taken away. 
In first Samuel chapter 15. Look at verse 28. And Samuel said unto him. Samuel is the Lord at rent the kingdom of Israel from thee this day. And had given it to a neighbor of thine that is better than thou. So what David got was a transfer of destiny from Saul. Go back to that first Samuel chapter 2. First Samuel chapter 2. Samuel Look at it from verse. 27. These are very serious scriptures. But it's good for us to look at it first. Before we now go into a small analysis. And then before we now go into our destiny restoration prayers. In 1 Samuel chapter 2 verse 27. I would have beloved. Are we there? And there came a man of God unto Eli. And said unto him, Thus saith the Lord, Did I plainly appear unto the house of thy father? When they were in Egypt in Pharaoh's house? And did I choose him out of all the tribes of Israel to be my priest? To offer upon my altar to burn incense? To wear an effort before me? And did I give unto the house of thy father all the offerings made by fire of the children of Israel? Where for Kiki at my sacrifice and my I often wish I have commanded in my habitation and honorest thou thy sons above me. To make yourself fat with the chiefest of all the offerings of Israel, my people. Wherefore, the Lord God of Israel said, Listen, beloved. I said indeed that thy house and the house of thy father should walk before me for how long? Forever. So, but now the Lord said be it far from me. That is, I changed my mind. For them that honor me I want to open all of me. I will honor. I know that despise me. I want to go. Shall be lightly esteemed. So behold, the days come that I will cut off thy ham and the ham of thy father's house. That there shall not be an old man in thine house. Let's leave the rest. It was the destiny of this fellow. I was transferred to Samuel. That's what he said in the book. Although the Lord made up his mind before that your family will continue to work before me forever. That's what God said to the family of Eli before. But at that level, God said, Fine, now, no, no longer. And I'm now going to transfer. And he transferred. These are serious matters. And I put up all these scriptures for you to see. There are many more, but we don't have time because we have to set up time to pray. Question number one to answer is this. What is destiny? What do we understand by destiny? From the perspective of the Bible and the word of God, your destiny is, the, is God's purpose for your life. 
what God had in mind when he created you and allowed you to come to this world that is your destiny what is your destiny your destiny is your appointed or ordained future what is your destiny your destiny is what God has predetermined you to be it is what God has predetermined you to become in his own divine will what is your destiny your destiny is why you were born your destiny is the expectations of heaven for your life it is what heaven expects from you not what your pastor expects not what your mother expects not what your neighbor expects but what you expect from you not even what you expect from yourself but what you expect from you what is your destiny your destiny is what is written in heavenly records concerning you that's why the bible said the son of man great as it is written of him what is your destiny your destiny is your divine predetermination your destiny is your foreordination your predestination that is your destiny is what God actually created you to do and to become in life that is what your destiny is if you look at a bell now the, the destiny of that bell is to be is when you ring it and it calls people to attention. If somebody now converts the bell to something, it will be urinating inside. Then you have changed the purpose. The bell is not made for that purpose. But somebody now is using it for a different purpose. You have changed the destiny of that bell. The way God operates is very simple. God, first of all, locates an assignment. It is, it is not the human beings he will look for first. No, no, no. It's his assignment. His mission. After God has put identify the mission then God will reverse to go and create the kind of human being who will carry out that mission he has programmed the person that's why we say destiny is what God has created you to do and created you to be and something God created you to become in life your destiny is what heavens have programmed your life to do it is your prophetic power prophetic power to move your destiny is your divine plan and purpose your destiny is your divine the divine road map for your life the divine road map for your life unfortunately when we are talking about destinies there is no amount of teaching some motivational talk words of wisdom that can make you fulfill your destiny until you begin to pray destiny changing prayers somebody can speak to you to motivate you but they say that one definition of insanity 
is somebody who is increasing speed when he has missed the road. You have already missed the road and you are running. Somebody has missed the road already. And then somebody is motivating you to move faster. It's insanity. When somebody has missed the road, the force is to stop. And if you are driving a car, you only need a small turn to either left or right to go back to where you are coming from. Or to go into the bush or any other place. This is why you need to understand that the devil has really destroyed so many things. The devil has really destroyed so many things. When you are not walking according to your road map again, anything can happen to you in the road in which you are moving. What is your destiny? Your destiny is why you exist. It's your mission here on earth. It's your portion and lot in life. When you begin to say, Oh Lord, let me possess my portion. You are talking about your destiny. When somebody says something bad to you, and you say, I reject it in Jesus' name, that will not be my portion, that will not be my lot. Yes. You are saying that, that those kind of things they are saying is not part of your life. What is your destiny? Your destiny is the divine agenda for your life. What is your destiny? Your destiny is the original divine intention for your life. The, the original divine intention for your life. A lot of people have recreated themselves. No, you cannot. If you recreate yourself outside your destiny, you are looking for trouble. What is your destiny? Your destiny is the blue print, the divine blueprint for your life. The divine blueprint for your life. It is that blueprint that will give you your purpose and direction. It will chart your course in the journey of life. Before a house is built, there must be a blueprint for a plan. It shows where the windows will be, where the doors will be, where the staircases will be, without that blueprint you won't get a good house your destiny is your, the divine blueprint for your life I want you to understand this very well now I've told you several things so that you can know you can understand what we are saying. What is your destiny? Your destiny is your prophetic purpose. The prophetic purpose of your life. What is your destiny? Your destiny is your divine compass. Your destiny is your divine compass. I will said all that. Let me now make this statement. God has a plan for every life. Right now, as you are sitting down and listening to me, you are either in that plan or you are out of it. Right now, as you are sitting down and listening to me, you may just be experimenting with your life. You try this. You try this. You try that. You try that. But you are not an experiment. 
ayewo there is a purpose for your living only did of you are lying you are not an accident okay say as you say god knew you were before your father and your mother brought you into the world ki baba ti ya re to mu o wa si ni aye lo lorun ti mo eni to je if now you don't take hold of your destiny be o ba wa gba yo mo re mu ni si and god and protect it ko pa mo ko si ma boju to o barricade from destiny robbers ko mo di ka ko wa wa di gunja le ayo mo ma ba te you will lose it o pa da no re no man born of a woman beloved ko si eni ta bi ni no obirin can succeed outside his destiny to le si a se yori lodi si ayo mo re anybody is succeeding outside his destiny is undergoing what you call evil success eni to ba nse ase yori ninu ohun to yato si ayo mo re ohun to nse ase yori buburu ni unfortunately majority of human beings are completely unaware of their destinies o si se ni la no pe opo ogo ra awon me niyan ni ko mo ohun ti ayo mo won je there is a conspiracy on idite abi ilu mo po kan lo lowo lowo e battle ogun to steal destiny that is ji ayo mo awon eniyan there is a department in the kingdom of darkness e ka ko nbe ninu ijobo okoko a very powerful department e ka na si lagbara gidigidi known as destiny destruction to nje awon apa ayo mo run i believe it ara they are succeeding so much o si se ase yori lopolopo by the time sometimes we say somebody is dead ni ba bi ran ta ba bi pe ani tiku by the calculation of heaven he never lived ni nu ako si le bi oru oni ta won o fe kon wa la yi so whether he was alive or dead o wa la ya bo ti wa ku o heaven was not concerned ko kan run because what heaven expected him to come and do is not doing ni tori o ti awon run re ti pe ko ma se ni ko se so as far as heaven was concerned he did not come here ni tori be loju orun ko wa saye rara he did not leave at all ko ti e gbaye rara that's why the greatest enemy anybody has on earth he did it to be jefe o ta to la gbara julo ti eni keni ni la se yi any power that does not want you to fulfill your destiny o ni agbara ke gbara ti ko ba fe ko mu ayan mo re se whatever the power is o yo u ti agbara na le the agenda of that power is that you will not fulfill your destiny that's your great test enemy on earth bo ba je to tabi ipin na gbara na ni pe o ni mu ayan mo re se ohun lo ta re to ga ni la person gets out his out, out of his destiny ni won igba ti eniyan ba ti poso de kuro ni mu ayan mo re all is shouting that i'm great i'm this i'm that shouting that you are superior to the devil is a joke bo bo igbe e mo ju esu lo alagbara ni mi gbogbo re asun la asun ninu asun all the i will carry jesus up and throw satan away up up jesus down down satan satan will say ah, you are already out of the road gbogbo won gbe jesus okay won gbe satan ni sile e ke esu o ma lo le ki jesus o ma lo so ke satan ni adu le gba se pe eni to ti si na you are already miss the road you are already in trouble na Why did you say where God wanted you to stay? God called that young prophet. Go to the land of Judah. There was a senior prophet in that town. God did not talk to that one. At that time. Now God moved into the life of this small boy. Go to the land of Judah. I'm professor. So tell it. So when you get there, go by the Don't eat in anybody's house. Don't go to anybody's house. Deliver your message. Get out of the place. I the Lord have spoken. The young prophet got there. Only for the old prophet to confront him. Say so well. Yeah. Did God tell you not to eat here, not to stay here, not to do this, not to do that? He said yes. The old prophet now said. An angel told me. Angel comes to fool me. An angel told me. Angel comes to fool me. It. We go to jail. God spoke to somebody. Hello, no be any consoro. And I say an angel spoke. Any consoro, some people can get the bone consoro. The young prophet heard. We leave the kele do jail. And that was all the devil needed. Oh, today you see the little Lord or not? For him to get out of that road. That is more cruel, Lord you know. And the devil now strikes him down. If you are lula lula. When somebody begins to lose his vision, the enemy removes the vision from you. Total, you are wrong. Who call over there? 
Then when there is no vision, there is no destiny. This is the truth, beloved. When we get to heaven, you hear, well done, good servant. And time to the joy of your master. Well done means you have done something. Well done, not welcome. Well done. Okushe. Well done means you have done something. So well done. Come to the joy of your master. There's something he expects you to do. This is where the trouble comes. To every man or woman who wants to fulfill his destiny. There is a department in the kingdom of darkness that wants to destroy it. This is why we need destiny changing, destiny restoration players. Unto every Moses, there is a Pharaoh. Until every Joseph that is a Potiphar. Until every Elijah that is a Jezebel. Until every David that is a Goliath. The opposition will come. When the enemy thinks that the destiny is very risky, you will be attacked. When the enemy sees that your destiny will touch millions of lives, it will come under severe attack. When the enemy sees that your life will impact generations, he will come under attack. When the enemy sees that your life has been, has been raised up as a battle axe, you come under attack. When the enemy sees that you are programmed to be great, you come under attack. When the enemy realizes it cannot kill you, you come under attack. When the enemy sees that the eagle of your destiny is a high flyer, of course you come under attack. And many destinies fall under such terrible attacks. The trouble now is this. If you have missed your destiny, God has the right to cut you off and replace you. If you have missed your destiny, then the enemy has the right to ensnare your life. There's a leave that life alone. See what, he's not doing what you want him to do. So why should I leave him alone? He's, he's not working according to your pattern. God told Moses, see thou to it, that thou doest everything according to the pattern which I showed to you. If Moses got down to the world here, I say, where is my opinion that it cannot be done like this, it should be done like this, it should be done like that. Moses will have serious trouble. If you have missed your destiny, then you are running your life on human fuel. If you have missed your destiny, then the person will fade into the archives of almost there or, or the archive of worthless history. You said this person is supposed to be this, but he didn't become it. Because God will not continue to prosper what you are not supposed to do in the first instance. Since he didn't ask you to do it. But when you are walking according to your destiny, all the obstacles you come across in that road of destiny becomes a testimony and becomes a promotion. So it's a tragedy to look at your life later, later, many, many years back 
and see that you have wasted it. And this is why every day, every night, those who are still a little bit alive in their spirit, you are here for a purpose but you are in the dark. Something inside them is still crying. That your time is almost up. And you have not fulfilled your destiny. Something is crying within them. That you are wasting the most valuable part of your life. Which is time. Time is going. For those who are still alive to what we are saying tonight. There's something inside crying. crying that I want to come out. Don't cage me. Let me come out. There is something inside of them crying day and night. You are born to contribute something to this generation. Please, please, please. Make that contribution. Something is crying within them. You are walking farther and farther away from receiving your divine well done. Something is crying within them. Don't die. I've not finished with you yet. Something is crying within them. Say so you are 30, you are 40, you are 50. You cannot give an account of your life. Where are you going? And something is crying within them. But I've been planted within you to make you great, but what have you done with me now? Something is crying within them that what you are doing now, you are far, far below your ladder of expectation. Something is crying within them day and night. You are a lazy person. You are a lazy person. Too lazy to pray. Too lazy to read the Bible. Too lazy to pray. Too lazy to read the Bible. Too lazy to meditate. Too lazy to memorize. Too lazy to live the kind of life God wants you to live. Something is crying within them. Will you allow this cry of destiny to go in vain? Or do you want to arrive at the gate of life? And the Lord says, Destiny of brother so so and so come out. And it comes out. And so, what happened to you? So it did not fulfill me. Come Therefore, I was transferred to somebody else. And the Lord will say, Away with this one. Because he did not do what you want him to do. To come yeah. to this world, beloved, and miss your destiny and not fulfill it, is a greatest tragedy that can happen to your life. Therefore, for those who are serious tonight, we are going to some very aggressive prayers now. Many destinies have already been destroyed. Many don't even know what they are doing. Many don't understand what is happening to their lives. Where I grew up many years ago, there was a boy that was born in that town. And the day that this boy was born, there are three villages surrounding that town. All the villages have their own chief Native doctor, chief witch doctor, chief abalist. I want look up, can I see me? Oh, Lori, I don't say, Oh, Lori, I let all of you. The day this boy was born, Lord, you want to be a model. All the three witch doctors got to where he was born. I want to die with him at the town. One day, we two want to be seen. How they got there. No one knew. But one way or the other, they knew that somebody important was being born that day. They all came in. The mother of this little baby was so embarrassed. 
Because all these old men with gray hair were prostrating on the floor. And the mother said, Where are you prostrating? They said, It's not for you. It's not for your husband. It's for the baby. baby? Ten years, you don't know what you have in your hand. Our oracle told us that this boy will deliver our people. And as he continued to as he continued to say those things, the woman was getting more and more surprised. More and more surprised. And they all left. And this boy began to grow. One of the most brilliant people you can think about. Highly brilliant. When you ask, when you set examination questions, and you say answer three from five, this fellow will first of all answer the three. Then we will will answer the extra two on the margin. So that the teacher will know that he knows everything. His lowest mark was ninety-eight percent. In any subject. And those are with teachers who just felt that how can this man score everything? And it was it was going on like this. He went on and on and on and on. But he finished his school certificate exams. They were going to release the results. One day, he was at the front of their house. He was reading his book. Because he was a bookworm. He was there. It was at that moment somebody driving a trailer started sleeping on the trailer. He was straight to where the boy was. And there was nothing that trailer broke in his life. Only his head. And that was the end of a destiny that even the demons knew. They didn't allow him to fulfill it. Rise upon your feet. Rise upon your feet. Tonight, as you bow down your heads, confess your sins before God. Confess your sins before God. Confess your sins before God. There are many young men here today who are already lost. There are many young women. Old women. Old men. They are already lost. They are not in the way of their destiny. And therefore, the enemy is fighting them really hard. But the enemy knows they are not where God wants them to be. Beloved, if you pray here tonight and you are sweating and there is a restoration like Jabez, because what had Jabez was his prayers, it is not motivational talk. It's not even Bible study. What's help Jabez? As he prayed destiny restoration prayer. He prayed destiny changing prayers. Ask him to forgive you. Any sin that will make your destiny to remain stagnant. Any sin that will not make heavens to arise for your sake tonight. Any sin that will give you a useless life. Ask him to forgive you now. Tell the Lord you are here tonight to be changed. And that you are not here to negotiate. Not here to negotiate. 
that in this generation you must make an impact in this generation you must make an impact you cannot live a life that makes no impact you cannot crawl into an unknown grave 